You know, at one point I used to ask myself, why on earth is it that when you look at Nairobi County, we have MPs who can serve two terms or even more. We also have the docket of women rep, which is held by Esther Pasaris, and this is her second term. We're also having a senator in the name of Sifuna, who is very likely to get a second term if he decides to stick to the senatorial seat, according to the polls which have been done this far. But when it comes to the governorship, there seems to be a very serious problem in Nairobi. No one can serve out two full terms. And I've never understood why. But based on a recent revelation from Governor Mike Sonko, we are coming to discover that the reason is that there is too much corruption, too much vested interest, and too many cartels. I just want you to listen into this video of former Governor of Nairobi, Mike Sonko, talking about how he used to receive 50 million Kenya shillings daily from City Hall in the form of bribes. And one day he decided to take this 50 million and go give President Uru Kenyatta and Ruto to try and initiate some form of investigations into the misdemeanors of City Hall and Nairobi County. Roll the tape. What you pay one way, Jeff, me the set. In the Russia Uru, for Nairobi, we can do better. We can even lend other counties. I used to do over 150 million a day. Revenue collection. Uh -huh. Revenue collection. Then I remember at some point guys were collecting cash at the cash office. They collected a person at the offices. A day, number so going 50 m niako. Let me hope that President Ruto will watch this. I went to State House. This is my money. I'm going to go. For a day. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm cash. And, and, and remember, remember, uh -huh. remember, where we are banking our money, uh -huh. cooperative bank, city hall. Uh -huh. It's just 100 meters from the cash office. But even throw a stone, if you can happen. But even though if you go. Don't you go. Uh -huh. So, me, I meant well, yeah? Because everybody was talking about city corra corruption. Problem, because yeah. I was loyal to the uh -huh. to, 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 to my bosses, to yeah. the system. Mm -hmm. Come here, boss, look. This is probably... If 50 million in the military, young, in the it will be coming on daily basis. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see that, come yes. <laughs> So there was a guy uh -huh. in charge of IT state of school, Mr. Mburu. Uh -huh. I wanted to confirm whether this is true. So I was, you see the gadgets you're fixing me now? Yeah. I was given that gadgets from state of tires, blah, 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 recording devices. Yeah. To go and have a conversation with the guys if they'll bring me money again. So the next day they brought the money, I captured 50 again. It used to vary 50 depending on the collection of the day. Uh -huh. 45, at times 60, at times 80. Cash. Cash. Making bags and shit. Yes. And that is why just from the moment somebody is elected governor, there is some form of premature salivating to replace him. You can already see Babu Wino is rushing to get there. And Edwin Sifuna is backing him up with constant rhetoric which is designed to make Sakaja look incompetent every other day. And if you want to know the money is so good, even those who hate Sakaja cannot be steadfast in their hate. Over the weekend, Sakaja called a meeting, if, I believe it was in the weekend, about the disaster management in Nairobi and so on and so forth with this issue of floods. And all the MPs, MCAs and the senator were invited and the senator did attend. In fact, he is the image of uh, Sifuna and Sakaja in that particular meeting having a tete-a-tete. -tete. And so there was a narrative all over social media. Why is Edwin Sifuna meeting with Sakaja? Yet he bashes him every other day. Has he been bought? That was the question. And it bothered Sifuna so much that he went to the Senate floor and decided to tell Kenyans that he cannot be bought. They were there on matters disaster management. And if he had to be bought, it cannot be in public. Roll the tape. Mr. Speaker, yesterday, the county governor of Nairobi called the leadership, members of parliament and the senate from Nairobi for a meeting. And people were extremely upset to see me in the same room with the governor. It is as if people expect that every time I see my governor, I should go on his neck or punch him in the face. When we do oversight, that, that, is, that is not the expectation. At a time of disaster response, it is very possible for Sifuna to be reasonable and sit across the table to undertake a very detailed conversation on the emergency disaster response that is going to, uh, towards uh, assuaging the situation of the people of Nairobi. But I've seen very interesting comments that now Sifuna has been pocketed because of a picture of a meeting 
in a public place in the presence of other leaders and in the presence of the media. But the point that I am making, Mr. Speaker, I think that if I'm going to be pocketed, I will not be pocketed in a, in a public place. And the Speaker knows that it is impossible to pocket Sifuna, at least not publicly. It cannot happen. <laughs> so, so I want the people of Nairobi to relax. That the, the job that they gave me to do, I will continue to do. But the reason I bring up... Senator. You can just see from that particular statement that Sifuna knows it is a possibility to be bought on issues where there is vested interest. And that is why he is saying he cannot be bought, at least not in public. He ought to have stopped that statement at he cannot be bought, not he cannot be bought, at least not in public. <laughs> Money is seriously a big problem in Nairobi and it is good that Sakaja is taking it cashless because that's the best way to prevent what used to happen in the days of Mike Sonko where 50 million would be taken from City Hall and presented to the governor, others are taking it home in their underwears and so on and so forth. In fact, it's very good that Sonko is straightforward and came out to reveal the story. Otherwise, we'd never know. And by the way, if there's one thing I can say, those who have formed a habit of attacking Governor Sakaja, there's a very high chance they will succeed in sending him home. Already history is against governors going for two terms and also the dirt being dumped on him is making it that much harder. Now, those attacking him had better not be complaining in 2027 when Babu Owino or Tim Wanyonyi become governor and the funds of Nairobi are taken from City Hall and handed over to Kalonzo and Ali Hassan Joho after they've lost elections to go conduct Mandamano left right center because that's what it'll come down to. The revenue collection in Nairobi is almost 150 million per day and that is what is reported. What about that which is never even tabulated in the books? But either way, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Do you trust Governor Sakaja with Nairobi's kitty? Or do you trust Babu Owino stroke Tim Wanyonyi? Just drop me your comments. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.